I am going to start a lecture series of ACCircuit analysis. In that series, I will try to cover all the topics related to single phase AC circuits. And this is the first video of that series. In this video, I will talk about alternating voltage and alternating current. At first, let me talk about alternating voltage. The word voltage refers to the amount of work to be done to move an electron from one place to another place in a circuit. And the word alternate that means change. That means the alternating voltage will change the value. See, a voltage that changes its magnitude and reverses its direction in regular intervals across two terminals is known as alternating voltage. The alternating voltage changes its magnitude and also reverses its direction. Reverses its direction that means in one interval it will be in positive half cycle another interval it will be in negative half cycle and the positive and negative half cycle comes one after another in a regular interval the most widely encountered alternating voltage varies sinusoidally with time and we can represent that sinusoidal voltage with this waveform in the y axis we take the alternating voltage parameter small v and in the x axis we take the time see from 0 to 5 interval it will have positive values see at this point the value is 0 at this point the positive value will have its maximum value and at this point it will have value but it is 0 that means you will see along this axis from time to time the value of the voltage is changing now from 5 to twice per interval this voltage will go through negative half cycle Fr here the voltage is zero here its negative value will have negative maximum minus vm and here at twice phi it will have value of zero that means our alternating voltage will change its magnitude and also reverses its direction we can express this sinusoidal waveform by using this equation small v equal to vm sin omega t where this vm represents the maximum value of the sine wave this v represents the alternating voltage this omega is the angular velocity or angular frequency of this time varying quantity we can also encounter the alternating voltage of this wave shape in the case we will take voltage at this axis and omega t in this axis this waveform is known as triangular wave another kind of most widely used alternating voltage is this square wave see from 0 to phi let's say this alternating voltage will increase its value from this point to up to this maximum value linearly after that it will decrease its value from this maximum value to this phi towards the zero value linearly after that it will decrease its value to up to the negative maximum after that it will follow the linear linear curve to increase its value this is how it will form two triangles the values or the voltages above this horizontal axis will represent the positive quantity and the voltage here it will represent the negative quantity now look here this is known as square wave let's say from 0 to this point you will see this square waveform will have maximum value plus vm and from this point to this point it will have a constant value minus v m now let me show you the alternating voltage in a simulator here you will see the alternating voltage changes its magnitude from time to time once it is going through positive half cycle another time it is going through negative half cycle see when t equal to 0 second the voltage is 0 see when t equal to 1.326 millisecond the voltage is 4.855 volt see when the time is 2.652 millisecond the magnitude of voltage is 8.879 volt 
now let me put the now let me put it here here you will see when the time is 5.114 millisecond voltage is 12 volt and this is the maximum value of the sinusoidal waveform so here you will see from time to time our alternating voltage will change its voltage at time 6.061 .06 millisecond voltage is 11.340 these are the instantaneous values see when time equal to 6.818 millisecond time voltage is 10.095 volt see when time is 8.712 millisecond voltage is 4.724 volt now see when time is 9.659 millisecond voltage is 1.283 volt and all these voltages are positive voltage see all these voltages are positive voltage see at this point our alternating voltage is crossing this horizontal axis therefore it will be its negative half cycle that means at that instant all the voltages will be negative see here when time equal to 10.416417 millisecond voltage is minus 1.566 volt see when time is 11.174 millisecond voltage is minus 4.327 volt see when the time is 13.258 millisecond voltage is minus 10.247 volt that means the inst all the instantaneous value during this negative half cycle will be negative see here this voltage is negative this voltage is also negative that means during negative half cycle it will maintain a negative value of voltage across that two terminals across this terminal and this terminal and uh, during positive half cycle it will maintain positive voltage across this terminal to this terminal and uh, that voltage will change with respect to time as they are changing with respect to time they are known as alternating voltage now let me talk about the alternating current the alternating current is abbreviated as AC the current that changes its magnitude with time and reverses its direction in regular intervals due to the application of alternating voltage is known as alternating current see our alternating current will change its magnitude with time and it will reverses its direction on regular half cycle and the condition is that we have to apply an alternating voltage the most widely used alternating current is the sinusoidally varying alternating current we express that alternating current with small i in the x-axis we take omega t so to express the alternating current we ex use this equation i equal to i m sin omega t where this i represents the alternating current ac current and this i m represents the maximum value of this alternating waveform omega is the angular frequency or angular velocity of this alternating current see from 0 to 5 you will see our alternating current will go through positive half cycle here it will have value of 0 but at this point it will have positive maximum value i m after that it will come to 0 at this point after that from phi to twice phi it will go through negative half cycle here it will have zero value but here it will have value of minus i m this is how it will change its value from instant to instant once it is going through positive half cycle another time it will go through negative half cycle that's why it is known as alternating current as its magnitude changes with time and it reverses its direction now let me talk about the flow of alternating current let's say if i apply an alternating voltage v equal to v m sin omega t in a resistor and they are connected in a circuit like this see when this v applied alternating voltage will go through positive half cycle this terminal will be at higher potential and this terminal will be at lower potential in that case our alternating current will flow in this direction okay when our alternating voltage will go through negative half cycle at that time this terminal will be at lower potential and this terminal will be at higher potential so our current will flow 
through this path in this indicated direction therefore you will see our current will be i m sin omega t this is how our alternating current will changes its direction with the polarity of the applied voltage in one half cycle it will flow in clockwise direction in another half cycle it will flow in anti clockwise direction okay that's it thank you